sons of the prophet are brave men and bold and quite unaccustomed to fear. And the bravest and bold was a man I am told called Abdullah Bull Bull Amir. Now heroes were plenty and well known to fame in the troops that were led by the Tsar. And the bravest of fame was a man by the name of Ivan Skavinsky Skiva. He could imitate Irving, play poker and fool, and strum on a Spanish guitar. In fact, quite the cream of the Muscovite team was Ivan Skavinsky Skiva. One day this bold Russian had shouldered his gun and walked down the streets with a sneer. Downtown he did go where he to rut on the toe of Abdullah Bulbul Amir. Young man, quoth Abdul, has your life grown so dull that you wish to end your career? I'll infidel know you have to rut on the toe of Abdullah Bulbul Amir. So take your last look at the sunshine and brook and send your regrets to the Tsar. By this I imply you are going to die, Count Ivan Skavinsky Skava. Said Ivan, my friend, your remarks in the end will avail you by little I fear, for you ne'er will survive to repeat them alive, Mr. Abdullah Bulbul Amir. They fought all that night, neath the moon shining bright. The battle was heard from afar. The police came in time to exchange a last line with Abdul and Skavinsky Skava. Now a tomb rises up where the blue Danube flows, engraved there in characters clear. A stranger, when passing, please pray for the soul of Abdullah Bulbul Amir. A Muscovite maiden, her lone vigil keeps neath the light of the pale polar star. And the name that she murmurs so oft as she weeps is Ivan Skavinsky Skava. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.